Hello students, I welcome you all to another interesting session. Today, we are going to learn a wonderful tale. So before that, I am going to give you a hint. Let's see if you can find the answer. Are you all ready? Okay, let's start. Here is the hint for you. I have keys but no lock. I have space but no room. You can enter but not come in. What am I? Can you guess the answer? Yes, it's right. The answer is computer. Very good. Look at the picture children. Computer. The computer is an electronic device that connects us to people across the world. The word computer originates from a Latin word computer meaning calculate. It was invented for solving programs and for calculations. With the development of technology, computers have evolved to solve other programs. A computer consists of a monitor, mouse, CPU and a keyboard. So you can see the different parts of a computer. Monitor, CPU, keyboard, mouse, speakers, UPS, printer, headphones, scanner, pen drive and web camera. The poet Berman M. Teague has beautifully explained the different parts of a computer. So before we get into the summarization of the poem, let us learn the new words and the meanings. The first one is RAM, a form of computer data storage. You all might have learned random access memory. Gigabytes, a unit byte for digital information. ROM, read only memory, a kind of computer memory. Gem clips, clips made of wire or plastic for holding sheets of paper together. Maintenance wizards. People here in this poem, the meaning of maintenance wizards. People or engineers who help in maintaining computers. Defragmenter. Used to reorganize files in a computer. Defragmenter. Used to reorganize files in a computer. Are you all ready for the summarization of the poem using the mind map? Let's get started. My computer. Here in this poem, the speaker describes about the various parts of a computer. The speaker is confused with the language of her computer. So she doesn't know which language the computer is using. But we all know that it is the binary language which the computer uses. She doesn't understand the meaning of the terms like Windows, RAM. So already we discussed RAM, random access, memory, ROM, read only, memory. The speaker gives instructions to her computer. How? Through a mouse, which is the translator. So it helps to give the signal. Mouse points out her mistakes while working on her computer. So this mouse also helps her to find out the mistakes while working on her computer. So at last, how does the poet conclude the poem? The speaker is not much happy to work on her computer because she is not familiar with all the words used here. Okay, so that is why she is not happy to work with the computer. Now, let's do the poem recitation. Are you all ready? Okay, so you can take out your textbook, page number 125. My computer has a language that is foreign to me. It speaks of RAM and gigabytes and what could ROM be? I don't understand the windows. My computer says are there, nor the gem clip at the side of my page with eyes that blink and stare. I don't understand the cures that maintenance wizards do. It's called defragmenter, scan disk and virus cleaning too. Yet, computer and I work hand and eye with the mouse to translate. The tasks that I want it to do, 
while pointing out my mistakes. So this poem is written by Bama M. Teague. Now, there is an activity which is given in your textbook. So you can open page number 132. Choose an object or a machine that we use often today. So we all use different kinds of machines in a day, right? So find out when and how it was invented and who did so. Collect enough information that will allow you to make a 2-3 to three minute presentation. Present your findings and share them with the class. So you can choose one object or a machine which you like and you can make a small presentation. Fact time! The first computer mouse constructed in 1964 was made out of wood. First hard drive was created in the year 1979 and could hold only 5 MB of data. Sir Tim Berners-Lee invented internet in the year 1989. By now, there will be 17 billion devices connected to the internet. So my dear students, hope you understood the poem thoroughly. So read them. Thank you.